I think what ha happens is if you're creating a lot of profit and, cre and creating more problems for planet or people, I think it'll catch up with you. So in some sense, the way I look at it and say is, hey, let's go after the core of what we're doing. It's not about caring about ethereal things. Our shareholders, I, yeah. I am always saying our shareholders are the ones who are giving us permission to be able to think about whether it is uh, the uh, affordable housing or whether it's the carbon. It's our shareholders who care as much about this as anyone else. And uh, Jim, I'm delighted to say, joins us now from Microsoft's HQ in Redmond, Washington. Jim, uh, epic that you just sat down there with uh, Mr. Nadella. I mean, but this particular announcement coming from uh, a forward-thinking tech company, I mean, it's not necessarily the sector you'd think that, that needs to say they need to go carbon neutral. But talk, talk us through the thinking he was, he was telling you about why they've done it and how significant it is. Well, first, I, 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 you're totally right. I mean, this is not uh, Chevron. But what it is is a company that's got three scopes. First scope is how much they use in carbon. Second, uh, by the way, is how much the suppliers use. And we'll get back to the second. Third is how much the users. Let's touch number two. When you build these data centers, uh, they use a lot of electricity, perhaps the newest, biggest new source of electricity in our country's history. And uh, if you're a utility company, you don't want uh, Mr. Nadella's business unless you're going to get rid of those coal plants. Even the president wants coal plants. Uh, you're going to have to try to have a lot of solar and a lot of windmills. He can change the grid. That's the most obvious thing that I think of. He changes the grid. Second, he cares about impact per share, not just earnings per share. And he has the luxury of doing that because he's done so well. Remember, the second largest company on earth. Uh, and, and Jim, uh, t tell us specifically when these targets are, are rolled out for and, uh, and how, it, how it relates to some of his others. Because, uh, you know, Amazon's made some pledges in this area, but I think Microsoft has gone a lot further, haven't they? Oh, yeah. I mean, look, carbon negative by 2030. And what they really want to do, just so you know, as, as time goes on, they're trying to not just erase their footprint or make it smaller, but to actually reverse it. And I think this is really important. Uh, Will, a lot of companies are very happy with doing what I call greenwashing. They say that they're trying to get toward carbon neutrality. How about wiping out all the carbon that you've used since the company was founded in 1975? That's what they're talking about doing out here. I think it's revolutionary. I've got to tell you, I think that, that Mr. Nadell is a leader. And I think you're going to see a lot of companies follow whether they like it or not.